Hey guys, this is Anastasia Autumnfire, and this is my day one countdown to Beltane. Um, tonight's craft is, of course, the herbal blend that will serve as incense. Um, it will help in making candles. It will help with making oils. It basically serves as this jump off point for most, if not all, crafts that I make. Um, for the Sabbat. Um, so in this blend, I have, I, I kind of went a little complicated with this blend. Um, it doesn't follow my normal nine herbs or nine ingredients or 13 ingredients. Um, I instead went with nine ingredients uh, for the Sabbat herbs and then I made a Cardunos blend and um, a goddess blend. Um, basically mixing the goddesses that I work with, um, since I work with multiple. And then I also added the elemental, uh, protection smudge that I've made and a good folk blend or a fey blend. Um, uh, basically the intent in this is to pay honor and homage to not only the Sabbat of Beltane, but also the Lord, um, and ladies that I specifically work with, um, as well as the Lord and the Lady in the abstract, um, and the Fae, or the Good Folk. Um, this is the cross-quarter Sabbat that the veil is the thinnest between our world and the world of the Fae. Uh, Samhain is when the veil is thinnest between our world and the world of the dead. Um, so this corresponds with that. Um, it's just, it's the, a, a different veil that is thin. Uh, so, good folk are definitely out and about, um, and, and I, I like to include, I, I like to include, uh, the Fae in most everything that I craft anyway, uh, but especially for, um, for things like Beltane and, uh, Litha, it's extremely important to me that they be included in that as well, um. As well as Samhain, obviously. But so, um, basic ingredients in this. Um, sorry, I'm in camera. I'm holding it and my hands are cramping up. Um, so it might be a little shaky. Uh, basic ingredients in this uh, for the Sabbat herbs. We have, um, I'm going to say herbs, but it includes resins, spices, flowers, all that good stuff. Um, we've got dragon's blood, hibiscus, uh, red rose, red clover, uh, calendula, uh, dandelion leaf, birch, amber, and lilac. Um, I chose those herbs because I feel they, I'm just going to kind of, there we go. That should help with the phone not shaking as much. Um, I feel like those really work with the Sabbath. We have a lot of great feminine soft energies included in there. Um, but you have the kind of passionate, um, fiery um, items as well. The dragon's blood definitely helps heighten energy and, and give that kind of, I don't want to say aggressive nature, because uh, that's kind of wrong, but that very masculine, assertive, that, that's probably the best best phrase or word for it, that assertive energy. Um, hibiscus, I, I really find that to be such a passionate flower and that to really kind of en enhance the sensuality of a blend. Um, I chose a red rose. Um, at first I had a pink rose chosen and I thought that was because it was love and sweet, but for me, Beltane, it, it is about love, but it is about that fiery love. It's about passion. It's about, um... It is about a union, but it it's about a union that has that flame burning. It, it ve is very fiery to me. Um, but then with the birch, you have the soft, gentle energies of new beginnings, of um, uh, of water, of, of connection to the goddess. Uh, lilac as well, I find to be very soft. Um, lilac, I also connect very much to the fae. Um, but I used it in the Sabbath blend as opposed to the Good Folk blend. Um, 
just because I, I find it it's the scent of spring it, it's the scent of this kind of turning um, it also it, it's about love and it's about beauty but it's also about wisdom and so I like just like how the rose is that love and beauty but it's a, about also passion and sensuality um, lilac is about love and beauty but it also is about wisdom which I, I really like um, for this as well. Uh, then I have my Carnunos blend, um, which has, I'm not going to go through all the ingredients into that, um, but we've got some cinnamon in there. We've got some orange peel. Uh, patchouli is definitely in there. A little bit of musk, not too much. Um, Elemental protection uh, blend is in there. Uh, for the Fay or the Good Folk blend, I am going to list off those ingredients just because those that was a special blend that I made tonight specifically. Um, for the Fay, I have a uh, lemon peel, and that's kind of off. Um, it, it was something that I was guided to because I thought I had Hawthorne. I ran out of Hawthorne, but I had to make this tonight. Um, and lemon peel, I, I find it, it's very cleansing. It's very much connected to, to water, but it, it still has that freshness and that zest. And, and I definitely connect that to a lot of workings I've done with the good folk where it kind of like that lilac, where it has that beauty and that maiden and, and that, that maidenhood aspect, but it's still very wise. Lemon has this very cleansing and purifying but it has this bit of spunk to it. It has this bit of kick. Um, so I liked that and thought that that would work nicely. Um, then rosemary, thyme, lavender, uh, violet, mistletoe, oak, lily, and uh, mint. Mint, again, I, I don't... Some references I've seen it used, some haven't. For me, that's a personal call. Um... Again, I, I, it's a scent that I associate with the Fae. Not entirely sure why. Uh, then I do have um, the various herbs that I have for my goddesses. Uh, with Hell, I have Yew, um, Mulein or Mulein, uh, Wormwood. For Hecate, I have Mugwort, Jasmine, and Mandrake Root. Um, so yeah, that is what it looks like. And um, I'm charging this blend with the emerald for the maiden, or maiden, oy, the emerald for the goddess, uh, and tiger's eye for the god. And then in the center, you have um, a piece of raw rose quartz. I really, as much as I love polished stones, I really connect much more with raw or rough stone cuts. I, I'm not sure why, I just always have, so I really was super, super excited that I found some of my rough um, rose quartz for this. Um, so yeah, so that is the incense, or herbal blend, or what have you, because it is used in other crafts aside from just incense. Um, I did burn the incense a little bit, and I really love the smell. Uh, amber, especially, I put a ton of amber resin in this bad boy. Um, last year I, I made a Beltane incense using even more amber resin and it smelled so amazing and I loved it. And I thought I, I write down everything and I cannot find that Beltane recipe to save my, you know, heaven knows what. I, I can't find it anywhere. So I'm not entirely sure where it went. I'm not entirely sure what I did with it, but, um, this was what I came up with this year. And I'm going to share with you, I shared with you not only some of the basics of how I made it, but I'm also going to charge this uh, by saying a prayer. I've already cleansed it and set the intent for it um, using my, you know, the hand over and, and kind of drawing down energy into, into the blend. Um, but I, I do try to charge or consecrate it with a prayer before I leave it to set overnight before putting it in its bottle. Um, and that is what I'm going to share with you on this video. Uh, this is actually a poem that I've altered. I found the poem online. I think it was one of those image 
I, I googled Beltane prayers and it was an image and a few of the words I didn't click with so I kind of adjusted it um, but I say my prayer and then just kind of go into what the item will be used for and ask the Lord and the ladies blessing um, and thank them for their aid as well as uh, the spirits the elements and the good folk so yeah with that I will begin my uh, charging chant. Blessed be the season of Beltane, the unifying celebration of the goddess and the god, honored day of sacred marriage, honored night of sacred union. The fertile goddess of summer walks through the land with the great horned god of the forest, hand in hand and the dark time of winter is behind us. Lord and lady, spirits and the elements, good folk alike, I thank you as always for sharing with me your love and your light. Let this herbal blend, made from flowers, herbs, resins, oils, and all, be given the purpose of celebrating and honoring the Sabbath of Beltane. Let it, let it resonate through the season of Beltane until we find ourselves on the doorstep of Litha. Let us burn this incense or burn the candle which it will be put in or put the oil on an object to consecrate it. Whatever this blend finds itself into, let it resonate with the energies of Beltane. And let those energies, therefore, resonate within us all. Lord and Lady, we honor you at this phase of your life cycle. And we thank you for guiding us through ours. Spirits, elements, Fay. we thank you for your aid day in and day out. We thank you for your guidance, for your wisdom. And we ask you to help us bless this incense blend. Bless this blend, remove all negativity, and let only honoring energies reside within. It is my wish, and by your blessing, so mote it, and blessed be. All right, and with that, I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a blessed night as always. Bye.